I hereby sentence you to death. The forest's fate. Here we go. Right, they're bad. gonna start fighting. Saws him the first one out. Okay. It's a big W. Here we go. Start things off. It's gonna be probably pretty slow. Look at that. Already in the middle fighting. They're gonna be. Yeah, they're probably gonna have to back up, definitely. They're outnumbered already. What TFS does really well is they apply a lot of pressure at the start. So you kind of see how they're just starting to trickle in. They've already killed half the people fighting. That's what TFS does. TFS does really well. It's like they will bring the fight right, right away. I can't. Why am I not being able to speak today? Holy shit. They bring the fight right away, basically. Like As I can tell from NTS right away, it's like. They're kind of trickling in. I keep saying right away. Yo, today doesn't be a bad day for me, huh? Already, TFS has them at their bridge, which is good for them and TFS, but right now, they do have the lead, though. NTS does have the lead. I'm interested to see their kind of style. Oh, they go swords, archers, rest in peace. It looks like... Okay, now we have the lead. Got it. Yeah, it's just like... Watching this, it just shows like NTS is like trickling in. Again, it's not their fault. You know what I'm saying? Because TFS is the number one alliance. Unless if you want to call Nora the number one alliance, which I understand power-wise, that's totally fair. I think a lot... You can determine a number one alliance by a lot of ways. Power, strategic, you know what I'm saying? So, let me know in the comments who you think the number one alliance is, TFS or Nor, or whoever else you think is. Just don't say yeah, yes, because... <laughs> well, no, that ain't true. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of mage rallies. You should never do them, by the way. They get melted. Especially with the new marches, bro. It's like, yeah, it's... This infantry rally is still up. That's nice to see. I do love seeing fights like these where it's just... They stay in one spot and they keep fighting. It's very rare you see fights like these nowadays. You only really see it from like the older servers. I, I try watching newer servers. I just never fight. All I see is Murray trading half the time. Which sucks, you know what I'm saying? It's like the potential for this game is insane. If they could just figure out a way to make alliances fight way more often, the appeal of this game would skyrocket up. Whether that's increased resource healing, not resource healing, god no, um, free healing, elixir healing. If they can increase that by a, a ton to where you can see fights going on all day, I really think like the potential of this game could skyrocket. Now it obviously needs to vary for T4 and T5. They need like if they can do it for like every five elixir potions cost one T5 and for only cost one for T4. While also like upgrading the storage of elixir like by a shit ton, I I feel like that would be game changing. For this game. Because with Rise of Kingdoms, it's kinda of just like, hey. Resource the I'm not, I'm I'm not, I'm not gonna swear, my bad. I need to make this monetize monetizable basically what rise kind of does rise kingdoms is they kind of make it to where um all you have to do is resource heal and train speed that up so a lot of the players who play a lot can fight for a longevity for a longevity while in cod you can't really do that you can resource heal a lot but like only so much so if they can kind of get rid of that gap for free to play players to where like hey i have a lot of elixir i keep fighting i expect nothing but great things from this game but in its current state it's it's very like you are punished for fighting a lot you have to be like and i understand it's kind of like the game they want it to be very strategic but at the same time you don't want it to be like so strategic to where you can actually play the game if you make a mistake because i guarantee you like half these players bro they're already like 25 percent weight 25 percent through their troops 
But yeah, it looks like TFS is just gonna go right through that. I wanna see if they're fighting anywhere else. No, not really. Yeah, let's kind of just fight in the middle. Yeah, TFS is gonna push their way through, obviously. They do this every time, which... Shocker, they're one of the best alliances for a reason. Going up here, there's no resistance. So yeah, like, I don't... Where is Nas? Nas, NTS. This is kind of weird. I'm, I'm used to, like, seeing, like, multiple fights going on. Like, so far, I'm only seeing this one fight here. Yeah, they're gonna be retreating, which is smart of them. Don't need pointless devs here. Again, I recommend never doing mage rallies. It's not a good idea. NTS is gonna be going back. I don't... Yeah, there's 30. There's 30, I was gonna say, like... Okay, we've got some fighting up here. Thank you. I was looking for the fighting. I was like, I couldn't find it. I was wondering why it was just so, like, awkward. Granted, there's not really that many people fighting up here, but it's better than nothing, you know? TFS is going through here now. Yeah, that's very weird. There isn't much fighting for this Roots of Wars. But then again, it's like, still, it's like... I'm really glad the Mage Meta's dying, though. I know a lot of people are gonna hate me for saying that, but bro... You don't understand how annoying it is... To get, back then, especially as a very low T4 player, to get nuked by a T5... T5 Awakened Lilia. It was a nightmare playing against Lilia players, bro. The, like, the AoE was just supreme. Nowadays, it's like, yeah, it hurts, but, you know, it's not as bad. NTS is going to be pushing this kind of TFS group back. Uh, is that Homelander or AFKing it, or is he going to fight? Yeah, he's going to fight. Okay, cool. That's cool. Are we still? Yeah, we're, we're calling back now. This is a very weird um, matchup. It's like TFS is dominating on the fighting part, but score-wise, NTS is winning this by like a long shot. For now, of course, by a thousand points. They're gonna start swarming this. God, this game looks so nice when it's not lagging. Granted, there's not that many much fighting going on. I wanna see like when a healing stone drops how like my recording goes. I, I did touch up my PC a lot. I changed a lot of the BIOS and all of that, so it should look a lot better than my previous videos. So they're gonna be taking the tree of healing now. Go back over here. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm just not seeing NTS anywhere. I feel like what NTS is doing is they're trying to rally as many things as possible just to like win. Which is smart on their point, because realistically, you're not going to be able to head-to-head -to -head one -on one-on-one TFS. Only, I think, Nor and BDO were able to even do that. Every every other alliance who's tried that has, in Roots of War so far, has just been steamrolled. This opens up in six minutes, that's cool. I didn't even know they locked places out, that's pretty cool. Another mage rally, again, I don't recommend these, they're not that good. Ooh, look at this! NTS! This is what we want to see. NTS is actually pushing down here. Nice. Yo, I would actually be really shocked if they won. And that would be an amazing video. I'm not going to lie. Have they won three minutes? Oh, okay. I, I get why they're being aggressive now. Got it. Smart. Um, yeah, yes, did this last time, and they ended up getting this room. So this may be like a continuous problem. TFS struggles is just top rune up here. I could be wrong. They probably just don't care about it because of point wise. But 
You never know. Because it looks like NTS is going to wipe this. Because TFS is like, they're kind of trickling in way too slow. Unless I think there's a huge ball back here. Yeah, like these guys got to get there fast. Otherwise, it might be too late. Yeah, they already got bear there and everything. Or, if I'm not mistaken, TFS could be doing a huge flank. But I'm, I'm probably not. Yeah, it looks like NTS is going to win this. Because I don't feel like they're going to be able to clear this in three minutes. While making it so they can't grab the rune. Granite current score is 6,500 to 6,100. Nice. NTS is in the lead. I may be in TFS, but I do love seeing the underdogs win a lot of the times. Especially since I don't really have any problems with NTS. I don't think they've done anything toxic. So it's really cool to kind of see them fight. What I'm really interested to see is... Yeah, they got two minutes left until the stone comes out, and it's looking like... Ooh, you know what? Hmm. TVS might have a chance. But NTS is kind of coming back, but... Ooh, this is close. Current score is 6700 to 6700. Yeah, okay, TVS just took the lead. Nice. Yeah, they have a minute. So what Sucker did last time is what he'll do is he'll put the bear on the stone so they can't grab it. So Sucker is an amazing behemoth master, but I'm better, of course. Come on now. You've seen my videos. So I feel like that's what their plan is. Is like with this top stone, they kind of want them to be aggressive so they can punish them more. That way, so like once they start having the retreat, TFS is also trickling in to help. Because again, like, I'm not really seeing any, um, of wherever the rest of TFS is. And that kind of worries me. Because TFS should be all over the stone. Because last time, they kind of did this very similar thing where they pushed last second, but it failed. Look at the ground they covered in like what two minutes? They're already basically next to it. And what you're gonna see, like I just said moments ago, is Circus gonna camp the bear on the rip the stuff. Whatever you want to call it. I call it so many different things. Current score is 8,000 to 7,000. TFS is in the lead. I do round it up by the way. So has emerged. Yep, Nature's watch this. Nope, no, oh, 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 is he gonna stop him? Yo, that is so smart. Yo, he, he, yo. I am just lost for words what that man just did. He, f he did the, he did the ring. I can't, I'm sorry, bro. I keep forgetting the artifact's names. He did the frost ring while on the thing. I was not expecting that in Orbis TFS, I can tell you that. I can tell you that. That was insane. And that's exactly what I'm saying. It's like, you have to be on this. You cannot be basically... Once it drops, you need to be there. And because TFS wasn't there, that's what happens. Granted, that's kind of cheeky. Just because it's like, even if the players were hitting him, they still wouldn't be able to stop him. But it's still a smart move, regardless. Like, that could have been prevented if they got there sooner. So, props to NDS there. That's like, wow. That was a 200 IQ move I did not see coming from NTS. So now they're in a game like, what, 6,000 points or 4,000 points? It's one of those. Granted, we have a 2,000 lead, basically, but that's still a major move on NTS's part. 
They're gonna clear this up now. The cold oh NTS like whoever that was. Oh he got stopped. Yo oh, I knew it! They were flanking! Yo, 200 IQ, what? Bro, that, that was still a 200 IQ move, regardless, but they ended up flanking, and I was confused on why there wasn't that much TFS at the very start, but this makes perfect sense now. I didn't even see this coming from TFS, holy shit. Home miner's gonna die and drop to stone, but obviously we're gonna reclaim it once they push these guys out. That was an insanely smart move on TFS. I did not see that coming. But it makes perfect sense when you think about it, because they have to go across that bridge and meet up with them. Like they can't, there's nowhere to run. Oh, you should have blocked them off. You could have blocked them off. Yeah, now now TFS is gonna be able to. Oh, don't boost them! You're gonna boost them. Army has taken the oh my goodness! The TFS, 200 IQ move. I I was. I didn't give enough credit to TFS right there. Holy shit! And I should have. My apologies. That was insane. I was not expecting that whatsoever. That was like out of the blue moon. Yeah, I keep moving my model. Sorry about that. I'm trying to find a good angle. I'm just going to leave it there. So for those who don't basically understand what he just did, you know, I'll explain it after this fight. But oh my goodness, TFS. That was, I was not expecting that from you. That was actually really, really cool. So TFS can be spawn camping here for a little bit. Because they, what basically TFS is doing here, right? Is they're trying to make it to where their march just dies so they get sent back faster. You see how fast this ghost go? You might as well zero your march instead of recalling back. It takes way too long. It would take like three minutes to recall back compared to a one minute recall. You just ghost yourself. But yeah, bro, this is interesting. It's like, the element of surprise is real. We saw a frost ring I was not expecting. Then we saw TFS, which I was expecting a little sooner, but it came super late and it made it even more crazier for doing it super late. So holy. NTS is gonna have to break through this soon because it's six minutes. TFS, I'm, I'm already going to say it, TFS will get middle stone no matter what they always do. It's like, the middle stone is brute power, the side stones is you have to be prepared. And TFS will brute power through anything. But yeah, TFS is going to be chilling here for a little bit as they fight NTS at their spawn. Oh, this is actually even at their spawn, this is pretty far, why is NTS fighting this? Yeah, NTS should not be fighting this whatsoever. As long as these are the last players fighting here, that's fine. But, like, more players should not be trickling in. Yeah, awesome. Also, I love what they do with infantry. I'm, I'm really happy that infantry are actually good this season. Because a lot of the previous seasons, they were alright. They were just kind of like fodder on the field. You know what I'm saying? You only really use them to block off um, chokes, but... Now they're amazing. It's like all we have to do now is get way more open field maps so Cavs can be good again. And this game's back into a healthy state because, to be honest, Call of Dragons with chokes is not fun. It's a very boring playstyle of stacking a bunch of flags on something until it's almost impossible to destroy. And I honestly do hope they, in the future, yeah, let's record this instead. This is a lot cooler. I do hope in the future they get rid of the whole flag stack and shit because that shit's not fun. It's boring. 
It's very boring to record. It's very boring to fight in. It's just like... Because there's never really any changes. It's, it's, it's either you, you get there first or you lose when it comes to like flag stacking in like key areas. Like you can flag stack in a random spot and it won't matter. It'll have no meaning. But if you flag stack on something that has meaning, it's over. Because again, like how long it takes to destroy flags is insane. But as you can see, Cav Rally going through, their good TFS can ignore that, or they were going to until someone hit it. I do not recommend going on bridge this early. I would group up. Because all you're doing now is taking unnecessary AoE damage. Like, look at all these red numbers. That's AoE just hitting, hitting, and hitting. And that's something you really want to avoid. Because, again, these chokes are deadly. Even bridges are deadly. It's like you got to be very careful. Boxes are always going to go through. It's going to get aggroed by um, Lilia because they're hitting these marches. Again, another major alley, which is something you don't want to send. They're not good at all. And it's weird because like they used to be amazing when I mean, they got nerfed into the ground. You guys remember when mage rallies had AOE damage? Ooh. Oh my god. That was what like season 2 plus. That was season 2 plus is when they were meta. And that was a fun meta. I'm not going to lie. I had fun in that time. It really made people learn to move out the way or suffer the consequences. <laughs> Jason's rally is going to get hit. Yeah, I think he's getting melted. Yeah, bro, for... I think he's getting... Oh my god! Jason! Yo, Jason's rally just got melted. I would love to see that report. Yeah, I'll view it after this, actually. I want to see that report later. Oh my goodness, that rally got destroyed for a Hosk. Not a Hosk rally. Doris rally. You guys remember Hosk rallies? That was not fun. Anything T4 plus rally is never fun. Just a heads up if you didn't notice by now. I'm almost T5, though. I'm going to be with, what, like, 70 mil power when I decide to actually upgrade my tech and everything and push archers. Because I'm currently at, what, 15 mil power? I get T5 archers. I max my archers completely. GG, 70 mil. But yeah, this is awesome. I love fights like these. And the best part is we're not playing in simple mode. You get to see this in the actual gameplay. Because I fixed my PC. <laughs> Yeah, Meowers gonna die out there. Rest in peace, Meower. Dogs are better, by the way. Don't tell them I said that. Again, like, I would not be going on this bridge. This bridge is not something you should be going on. Bridges are very punishable, they're good for defense, horrible for offense. It's either you gotta burst through this, which again, I hate to say this, you can't with TFS, especially the power difference between these two alliances. It's not really fair, but it's which of war, you know? It's competitive. But yeah, it just looks like TFS is gonna hold this off, get the stone without any struggle. Which sucks because I feel like NTS may just give up now because TFS has already gotten two stones, and if they don't, major props. But again, like, a lot of these alliances could just quit once the scores is bad. But I do respect the alliances that don't do it. It shows sportsmanship. A lot of it. Current score is 16,500 6, to 11,000. Again, I'm rounding it up. <laughs> I could just say 16,400, but you know. Yep. Voice we're gonna be grabbing that lifestone again the the freeze ring is 200 iq i don't know who this dree guy is but he's smart as hell 
I've never seen that before. And that might become a new meta that people start doing to secure um, stones. So kind of like props to NTS, bro. You guys, but shame on you too, because now everyone's gonna start doing this. <laughs> everyone's gonna start free racing the fuck out of that. Uh, we can now summon Hydra. Oh, you got over here. Okay, got him. Yeah, look how beautiful this game is, bro. When it's not lagging. High graphics. Dang. What I am trying to figure out though is let me know. Do you guys like the Roots of War music more or do you like my own music that I use in my videos more? Let me know it for future videos so that way I can be like, hey, I'll use this music instead of the actual game music. Worst case scenario, I just mute this fully and put my music over it next time. But yeah, look at this. This will make it a lot easier for me to edit videos though. I don't have to apply music. Yeah, the new Archer Artifact is amazing, just not for me, because it's only level 1 for me, but level 5, bro, it's insane. The march speed, the damage, it's, it all adds up. So is the new march they added, bro. I love how the devs reward the Archer players. They understood the first few seasons we played, it was an absolute nightmare for us. And you know what they said? Listen, these Mage Maidens are having way too much fun. We gotta get rid of them. They gotta go. And they decided to get rid of them, you know? They gave us range with a 15% damage reduction. And the rest is history. Now we have Magret who get 400k Mert reports. Granted, that's against T4s though, so it's like, let's be real. Against T5s, I think the max you could do is like maybe 200k. If you're only fighting T5, but the moment you fight T4 as a T5 player, anything maxed, any report's gonna look good. So keep that in mind. If you do see high reports, make sure it's against T5 players, not T4. Because you don't wanna trick yourself into thinking that the marsh itself is so good it's destroying T5 players, when it's most likely it's destroying T4 players. Not saying Magret is not doing that. It can't do that, but it is a lot of the cases where these high reports are just destroying low players who don't know what they're doing. But yeah, TFS is going to be pushing forward a little bit more. Let me move myself again. Sorry about that, guys. If the screen kind of does freezing, it's because I'm moving my model. So I need to get a second monitor, to be honest. That would be insane if I got a second monitor. So I have a laptop, but if I connect it, it destroys the performance of this recording. I've seen it, it's horrible. Yeah, look at this. NTS is actually looking pretty healthy here. I'm not gonna lie. Current score is 21,500 to 13,200. This is looking like TFS is going to win by a landslide, but again, to me, I couldn't give a damn. As a rank 13 alliance, I would not be expecting myself to be technically the number one if we didn't, um, <laughs> long story short, we were supposed to, TFS was supposed to go against BDO again, but TFS chose to instead fight a real war. I'm not saying that BDO isn't in row, they're amazing alliance to fight. But they decided to still keep fighting for Dragon, but we eventually just kind of said, nah, we're done. So sadly, we got blown out by BDO last roots. It was zero to 80,000 something. And I vivid vividly remember it, cause like Fox went in, I saw him then go out. I was like, ah, okay, we're leaving, got it. It was funny, but sad. Cause like, I wanted to record another, like, 
anything BDO related is just fun. Because you know that BDO knows what they're doing and it will always be close. It will never be a landslide victory when both sides are fighting. And that's what I love about BDO. BDO, nor so far have been the only ones that I've seen go against TFS. I forgot the alliance. Like, I didn't. I started doing this once, sadly, a guy named Slongers quit YouTube. He went to go do doctor stuff, which, you know, good for him. But his thing was kind of the Roots of War, so I kind of said, hey, let him do it, you know? There's no point in me posting the same video as he is. Especially because he was also in it. He, he loved his cats. So once he left, I kind of said, hey, you know, I'll try it out. And yeah, this is very fun. Jason's rallying that. Damn, Jason, you, gotta, you need a better Gorish, man. t is swarming this? Oh, we just got it. Okay, cool. They are now killing this Hydra. But yeah, so far so good for TFS. I wonder, I wonder what NTS is going to do, though, because next stat, Hellstone's here. We lost our last one here, too, by the way. Our last one's award to that one alliance. Nothing much going on over here. NTS Raw is going through. Oh, is Fox going to, like, camp it? Yeah, he's camping it. Oh, this is gonna help. Oh, I'm stupid. I thought that was like, <laughs> bro. I'm so used to seeing blue as us. So I was thinking, oh, he's helping Jason Gee out. No, he's swarming the rally. Why did I say Jason Gee instead of just Jason? Oh god. TFS is gonna be balling up here, ready for the statue. Nice. I'm really excited, bro. Cause like our season with DSS. DS has been very fun. People have been saying mixed things, you know what I'm saying? But I, I feel like people don't understand the power difference between TFS and DS's main alliances. It's basically a four build power difference. So it's like, you do have to understand from that like perspective, DS can only do so much. It was a lot different with BDO going against um, AFK Journey, that alliance. They changed the name, I just don't want to say the other name so I don't get monetized, and CLC. With that alliance, it was very different because it was both of them combined were only two to three build power stronger than BDO. And I thought that was fair because if you really look at it, BDO's tech and everything is significantly better than both of those alliances combined. So if you put them both together, you're basically putting both average alliance power, power alliances up against a really good alliance. It's not two 13 build alliances versus a 14 build alliance, you know what I'm saying? If that was the case, then that would have been, oh, that would have been fair. But because like 8 plus 8 is 16 versus a 13 build power alliance, 3 build power is a lot, but it is very manageable. It's not as big as you think, is what I would say. It's different when both alliances combined, it's a 4 build power difference. It's not 2 alliances combined into 1. It's hard to explain, but you saw the results. BDO absolutely rolled them over at the very end due to that power difference. And also their allies. Don't get me wrong. They had allies. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. But yeah, it looks like TFS is going to just push through this. Not much NTS can do again. And like I say this, it's like I can already tell by looking at NTS. They're already losing a lot of troops. And this is what I have to say. They got to change this. Because it's not fun being in a smaller alliance that just gets plowed over because one alliance sets a shit ton more troops than you. And that's kind of what's going on right now is NTS is withering out. Last time I saw that. So hopefully in the future, COD adds an amazing PvP update to where resource healing is a lot better. To where there's much more of it. Again, dude, this Dre dude's just so smart. It's like, he almost gets away with it. Like, think of it this way. If you are evenly fighting in that spot, and you get that stone, 9 out of 10 times, you're getting it. But because TFS is such a bigger, stronger alliance, they're already on the stone, and he still almost gets it. 
So it's like, hey, if you want to learn something, if you're playing Roots of War, have a flying unit that has Ice Ring. You'll get that stone five out of like 50 50. It's a lot better than a 0% chance when you're getting pushed back like this. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to say his name, but Boo is going to be putting the statue. Where would he put it, actually? I don't know. In 13 minutes, the next one's going to be spawning. Cool. Yeah, so NTS, I can tell they're with it out. It looks like this is going to be the end of it, though, to be honest. I will say, though, like, hey, huge props to NTS, bro. Power difference says a lot. It's not fun fighting TFS, I can tell you that. It takes multiple lines to hold TFS back. Just hold, not even push. See the announcer gets it too. Me and him are on the same page. They're gonna swap that rally. Whew. Yeah, nothing really TFS can do here, sadly. Not TFS, NTS. Yeah, TFS can do a lot. If you are enjoying this video though and you made it this far, if you please go subscribe to my channel. I'm a small content creator, it would help out a lot. My goal is a thousand two hundred subscribers by the end of this month, so it'd be awesome if you could help. Hmm, I'm gonna see if they're fighting anywhere else right now. No, they're not, they're just rallying. Yeah, again, it's it's sad. All you can really do in this kind of situation at this point is just rally. But to be fair, I honestly hope in the future they actually make Roots of War an event that gets hosted live. Kind of what they do with Rise of Kingdoms. Granted, that would require a lot more players playing, which will take time because, what, in Season 3 we're finally getting Home Kingdoms? And I will be the first to say this, I think Call of Dragons was super rushed, but it was beautiful looking. I feel like its graphics were amazing, but its gameplay after Season 1 took a dive. Just because it was, it was super repetitive, or there was too many changes going on at once that weren't really needed. And that's something I hope that gets kind of investigated in, in the future, to where we don't take such a huge dive in player base activity in the future, because... Call of Dragon's potential is insane. Like, you don't understand. This game looks beautiful. Its PvP is insanely different from Rise of Kingdoms, and it's actually something that is worth coming over to do because of how amazing it is. And the possibility of it being an amazing city builder is also there again. Like, this could be the next Rise of Kingdoms in a year, if they so choose to make it that. But if they basically do a copy-paste of Rise of Kingdoms, the chances of that are very slim. You know what I'm saying? Like, at the end of the day, you do got to be unique in a way. And when you look at Call of Dragons, you think of amazing graphics and it's PvP. When you look at Rise of Kingdoms, you think it's community and it's whales. Also, it's, um, what's the word for it? when a game's, like, basically kind of completed? It's finished. It's basically in a finished state. Like, Rise of Kingdoms state right now is... It's in its state where the game's completed, as in COD is not. COD is a experiment right now. Yeah, TFS can get wiped here. Sorry that I'm rambling, I'm just like... I'm just kind of waiting for these guys to clean them up. Oh, I didn't see this fighting over here, my apologies. Yeah, so I, I just hope this game does well, because like I do want to eventually see this game be amazing for what it is but that would require them sadly saying this i know a lot of whales gonna hate me making t5 not as strong as they currently are because a lot of the player base in cod is a bunch of t4 players surprisingly i know 
And I feel like the problem is right now is a lot of people don't want to invest so much time into this game for how long it does take to BT5. And that's where the huge kind of gap comes between this game. It's like, once you're T5, you're T5. Like, you can enjoy, but once you're T4, it's like, you are penalized for almost anything you do. If you do it bad, it hurts. You do it good, it slightly hurts. You're T5, you do it bad, you can recover. You do it good, it... The reward ratio is insane. I'll tell you that. Granted, I've never been T5 and caught, but I can tell you by looking at Murrits, how much true people have left, it's insane. The KDs, it's like I have never seen a negative KD on the T5 account. It's all, it, it would take a special skill. And I'm not talking about a fresh T5, you know, I'm talking about like has been T5 for a season or two. Because so I do understand like certain T5 accounts being brand new with a negative KD because they were T4. Because almost every T4 player has it. Like, if you have a positive KD as a T4 player, it's very skeptical of what you've been doing. It's either you've been farm killing, you've not really been helping fighting that much, it's like... Or you're a beta account. If you're a beta account, it makes sense, because a lot of people were T4 back then. So yeah, I've... Oh, why did it put me in simple mode? What the fuck? Bro, they forced me into simple mode! You guys seen this? Whoa, 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 hold on. Don't put me in simple mode, bro. I was enjoying my war in max graphics. Thank you very much. Yeah, I just realized that. Sorry, guys. I was wondering what was going on. Yeah, look at this. This is awesome. Listen, this, this is this is what we call content right here. When you can barely see the screen, you just see a ton of numbers. This is what we all love. Oh my goodness. Mad respect to NTS for sticking this out. Current score is 30,000 to 19,500. Yeah, MTS is going to get blown through, sadly, because I can already see the infantry marches. Why, Jason, why is your mage march there? What is going on, buddy? Look at this. TFS, what they love to do is once they clear the, like, the bridge, the front of it, they go on the side of it, so you can't keep them stuck on the bridge. Because, again, the AoE in this game is what makes mages good. If you are not running a Lilia as a mage main, there's something wrong with you. Burnt Tor is... It, it's good, but it will never be a Lilia. You could have a hundred Burnt Tors in the field, they would get destroyed by a hundred Lilias. They just would. The AoE would destroy all the marches before you could even get a Lilia's half health. And that, that might sound crazy, but I'm being dead serious. It's like... Burt Tohar did not make Mage a meta. <laughs> Lillian Velen did. <laughs> that speaks volumes. Which again, I, I, I would love to say is a good thing, okay? You don't want power creep in this game, and sadly, archers are getting power creep, which I understand the frustration when it comes to mage players for that reason, but at the same time, it's like... I won't lie, the healing, like, they, they did kind of overkit Magret. And they should probably nerf her a little bit. But if you do that, the problem then becomes that people get upset. They want refunds. It's like, great. So. I don't mind power creeping when it's in PvE games. But when it's in PvP games, it's a huge problem. Because then it does become very pay to win. Shocker, I'm saying that. And God, I know. But it's like. Companies should be very careful when it comes to pay to win games. In, in making a pay to win game, is what I should say, my bad. We're gonna try to grab stone here. Will we get it? We got it. Because pay to win games tend to go two ways. One, no matter what, 
you're making profit, but no one's playing the game besides Mega Wells, and then obviously it's getting no attention. A game to me that kind of says that is um, obviously this game right now. Rise of Kingdoms was like that, and then all of a sudden it got a huge trend because of COVID. It's one of those COVID games that blew up whenever I wanted to play it, and look at it now, it's in a successful state. For that, I, I believe for that reason alone. Being dead serious, I only think that game's in its current state is because of COVID. The same with Fortnite, same with Apex, same with um, Call of Duty. And I, that might sound weird saying Call of Duty, but let's be real now, that game has been slowly dying. A lot of its old OG players are fed up with the um, copy-paste games, which I understand. Like, same with Halo, bro. I'm a, I'm a huge Halo dude. Halo Infinite disappointed me at launch. Um, hey, the Halo before that was very disappointing. The last decent Halo they had was Halo 4. I like how I'm talking about other games and not caught as I'm recording God. I'm a great streamer. Yeah, look at this fighting, though. This is awesome. Nine minutes left until it's over. But because they're ahead of us, they have five minutes left. So the score is looking like it's going to be like 50,000 to 23,000 by the end of it. No, I would say 45,000. 45,000. Yeah, look at this. Again, like I, I will say, huge props to NDS again. They're ranked 13th, Yang going against us. Ranked two, life. number n yeah, Forest number two alliance in the row thing is insane. It's not easy. We were number one for a reason. We technically still are if we don't count the BDO funny, funny thing. Who is number one now? I think it's Nor. It's either Nor or BDO. And I don't think it's BDO unless they beat Noor. So that's interesting. I think we all have one loss combined. Unless if Noor beat BDO or BDO beat Noor. Huh. Don't know. Yeah, look at this. Scores 22,000 to, or 21,500 almost to 36,000, almost 37,000. So yeah, I would say like 42,000 points is what we're going to have. There's another stone in 7 minutes. Also, TFS is kind of trickling in. Yeah, this is kind of where you just say, hey, fuck it, let's just fight each other in the middle. So that's awesome. Because there's nothing else to really do now. Nice, nice. Our dragon is still up. Dragon's going back now. He drag him all in. Again, if I was DFS, I'd get off that bridge. That bridge is not fun to be on. Because once these guys start targeting you instead of the dragon, it's going to hurt. I was playing some Hawkeye, bro. I finished that game. Bro, the story was beautiful. It was just beautiful. I, I seriously, bro, I was not expecting Hawkeye Star Rail to be this good. I'm addicted to the game now. But yeah, look at this NTS. Pushing TFS back off the bridge. Which again, hopefully they do not go on bridge because they will take a lot of AoE. Oh, they're actually kind of... Yeah, here comes the rally. I was going to say, like, yeah, they're kind of keeping them off. Yeah, they're pushing TFS back to where they can actually go in the corners. 
Interesting. You always do want to make sure, though, that you're not getting AOE too hard. Dragon's about to die as NTS is gonna sadly stay on bridge. They're gonna get AoE down. Granted, there's actually not that many Lilios over here. There's only like three or four. So NTS is actually fine. As you can see on their side, they have like 10, 15 Lilios. You know what I mean? It's like having Lilia in your marches is such a game changer. It just is. It's not the hardest hitting one, but over time it is. You add when you add up all the AOE damage done, it's like Bert Hard does not even compare. Hmm. So if you are looking to invest into a march that to awaken right away, Lilia, 100 percent do it. Without hesitation, Lilia. Hosk, I, I don't recommend doing it. Only do Hosk if you're a high spender. If you're a mid spender, you're really not going to use them for anything besides maybe rallies early in the game. Hoss is like a season one through season two. Once you get season three and get the new commanders, it's useless. Because in season one or season two, he gets countered by a Sinjron Frey. Season three, he's a worse rally march than both Sinjron Frey and Maggart. Um, I don't know the other character's name. Sorry. She's a very forgettable name. <laughs> cool character though. So we have three minutes left and in three minutes I'm basically gonna... See, no, 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 I won't do Jason like that. Never mind. I won't show his report. Cause that march got melted. So yeah, if you, nah, you know, I won't, yeah, hold on. NTS looks like they're gonna be getting a bit closer. This is cool though, because I, I was not expecting them to keep fighting like this. Because it looked like they were kind of just dying out, but they kind of just said, hey, full set, let's just fight here, let's have fun. So it's really cool. Hopefully I see you in Discord. I've never heard of this alliance before, so... They're probably just a bunch of casual players who don't go on Discord a lot. As a casual, I mean, like, they're not all over Discord, they're not all over videos and all that, they're kind of just... They're here. They're playing the game. TFS is starting to push it back a little bit. God, I, I, like again, I have to say this game's so beautiful when it's not lacking. You can actually see the gameplay; it's flawless. Because I'm used to having to like record like this. Oh, not like that. What the? They're not even allowing me to do the um the thing. That's awesome. I'm used to seeing like um, the bubbles, like the icons, but this is beautiful. I honestly wish I could play this zoomed out in um, the normal mode, because I would, but they don't allow you to. They make you have to play very zoomed in, which sucks. Because when you're zoomed in, whew, sorry about that. when you're zoomed in, it's very hard to like scroll backwards. You can only really scroll forwards when you're fighting. And if I could just play like this, bro, it would be amazing. Not only would I be able to record more of the fight, but it would help me out a lot in fights. Because I do try to play zoomed out like this, not or zoomed in like this, because I don't want people to watch pixels. I don't think you guys want to watch an hour worth of pixels, so. I'll try my best to keep it zoomed like this. Cause it's just very entertaining this way. No circus ass. Nice storm blast. 
30 seconds till it's over. I just want to say again, huge props to NCS, bro. Like, it, honestly, I do respect a lot of these alliances that stick around to the very end. Because, again, you never know. You never want to be in a Roots of Warrior where one of the opponent doesn't show up without an excuse. Two, they quit halfway through. Or three, it's not fun at all. And in this case, this is clearly fun. Hopefully for NTS2, you know, you're, you're getting to fight one of the best alliances in the game. Not every day. So, again, GG NTS. Good job, TFS. So another victory. A victory royale. MVP goes to Tempe. Of course it's a cat player, bro. Even though they're nerfed. Total score is 39,893 points versus 24,793.97 9, points. Yeah, that's pretty close, honestly. Total kills, TFS had about 10 million more. They also had 10 million more deaths, obviously, did the math, you know what I'm saying? Total heal, TFS had less, actually. Wow. Shocker. <laughs> Last little tanks, they tamed all of them. Again, awesome World War. That's going to be the end of the video. If you please could check out my channel, you know, it's a small channel. Hopefully we can get it to 3000 before next year. I would say 10,000, but you know, you never know. Hopefully we can get it around there. If you did enjoy this video, if you please could leave a like, subscribe and share. I do have other videos like this. I'll pop them up on the screen here and at the end screen. So if you do want to check them out, please do let me know what you think about them. Without that being said, peace. Yeah.